This is a Friday Shoes production. This is lesson 5-8. We're going to break it into two days. It's in your book on page 284 in the target. Just today, we're going to do two examples. I can find and use the percent of increase or decrease. Well, what is the percent of change? Percent of change that we're talking about here is the percent that an amount changes from its original amount. And in the box here, we've made it simple for you. To calculate the percent of change, all you have to do is take the amount of the change, which is simply subtracting the two values, and divide it by the original amount. Then, of course, you change it into a percent by moving the decimal two spots to the right. Here are the steps we follow to calculate the percent of change like that box up there, but it's more formalized here. Percent of change, they say, is a percent of change is a ratio that is com that compares the change in quantity to the original amount. And of course, they have the same kind of calculation here. The percent of change is the amount of change over the original amount. And that's the thing you want to remember and memorize. To find the percent of change, do the following. Subtract to find the amount of change, which is subtract the two values that you're given. And then write the ratio with the amount of change on top and the original amount on bottom as a decimal which means you have to divide those two. And then write the decimal as a percent, moving the decimal over two spots. Okay, enough talking, let's do one. Now, these percents of changes could be, you could be increasing or decreasing. So you look at where it starts originally and a chronological order, like time. Think of what come, came first and then what came second. If it went, started somewhere and went up, that we'd call that an increase. If we started somewhere and went down, then we'd call that a decrease. Let's look at one here. It says, last year, the yearbook club at Wesley Middle School sold 174 yearbooks. This year, they sold 200 yearbooks. All, all, I can tell you right now, that's going to be an increase because last year was 174. This year is uh, 200. That's up. So that's increase. Find the percent of change, round to the nearest tenth if necessary, and state whether the change is an increase or a decrease. Well, it's an increase already, so I know that. Well, let's see here. The amount of change, we're going to take 200 and we're we'll subtract the 174 and you get 26. That's what we call the amount of change. So now take your 26, which is the amount of change, and put it over the original amount. Remember, the original amount is 174. So take your 26, put it over 174. Get your calculator out. Take 26 and divide by 174. This is what it should look like on your calculator. Then we move the decimal over two spots to the right. And we end up with 14.9%. That's rounded to the nearest tenth of a percent. Of course, it's an increase. We've already stated that. You try one here. We got the Uggs. Before the holiday, a pair of Ugg boots costs $300. After the holiday, the same pair of Ugg boots costs $200. Find the percent of change. Well, first off, we know the original was 300, and now they're 200. Chronologically, that's what it would be. So what do we do? We take the 300, we minus the 200 to get our 100, which is the amount of change, and then put that all over the original amount, which is 300. So we have 100 over 300. We'll take a look. 100 over 300 is one third, which is 33 and one third percent. And we went from 300 which was the original down to 200, so that's a decrease. The price decreased by 33 and one third percent. So the percentage change is a decrease of 33 and one third percent. All right, how about this example? On average, Kentucky has 45 inches of rainfall per year, but in 2006, it had almost 54 inches. Find the percent of change. State whether the change is an increase or decrease. Here we go. Step one, the amount of change is going to be 54 minus 45, which is 9. Now we take the amount of change and put it over the original amount. So we have 9, and then we put it over the 45 inches, which was the original amount. Divide the 9, 9 divided by 45, and we get 0.2. Move it over two spots, and we got 20%. And the new amount is greater than the original, therefore, this is called a percent of increase. So we have a 20% increase in that rainfall. All right, you try one. 
Here's a story read in the newspaper a few years back. It said six seventh graders were removed from the mall after they started a water balloon fight with 80 balloons. The problem? The water balloons were not filled with water. They were filled with milk. So they, so they and their 55 remaining milk balloons were escorted out of the mall. Find the percent of change. That's the from the 80 balloons to 55 balloons. So first off, whoops, we have 80 minus 50, which is 30. That'll be the change, amount of change. So we have 30 over 80. Let's take a look at what that equals. 30 divided by 80 is 0.375. Move the decimal over two spots, and that's 37.5%. Okay, it's a decrease because it went from 80 balloons to 55 balloons. So the answer is 37.5% decrease. Why don't you try it again here? It says, last year at Best Buy, the Xbox 360, 250 gigabyte, was selling for $300. This year, Best Buy is selling this unit as a bundle with all the stuff you see there in the picture for $360. What is the percent of change in the price? All right, so what do we start out with? We take 360 and subtract the 300, which gives us 60 over 300. And 60 over 300 is one-fifth. And one-fifth is 0.2, or 20%. And notice, it actually went up from $300 to $360. So we call that an increase. That's a 20% increase right there. That is percent of change. Don't forget, for better understanding, you can always rewatch the video, read the examples in the book, or you could watch the personal tutor videos on the online textbook. And as usual, this has been a Friday Shoes production.